Welcome to Breathe Better with Elizabeth. I know that if you're having trouble breathing, a lot of times you're just, you get really overwhelmed with everything that you're trying to learn and do differently. So I wanted to put together just like a really simple list of some things that you can do to um, decrease your shortness of breath and make things a little bit easier on you when it concerns your diet and nutrition. So I just made this up a little nutritional odds and ends here. You want to try to break up your larger meals into smaller meals and eat more frequently. And this is because the more food you have in your stomach at one time, and that's food, anything that you drink, any gas that that food makes in your stomach is going to push up on your diaphragm making it harder to breathe. So that's why if you eat like a, a really good meal and you eat a lot of food, you may have some harder times breathing after that meal. So that's why. Um, so you wanna try to keep the digestion going and eat, still eat the same amount of food, but just eat more frequently throughout the day, okay? Um, another one, is avoid foods that cause gas and bloating. Just like what I was saying before, if you have a lot of gas in your stomach, you're not gonna have much room for your lungs because it's all in the same space. So the larger your stomach is, it pushes up on your diaphragm, which is your major muscle of breathing. And it sits about right here, you can kind of see it. So if your stomach is pushing up, your diaphragm will flatten and you will have less room to expand your lungs and get all of the air in that you need. So, if you're gonna eat something that you know is going to cause you gas or bloating, take something like a gas X or um, just anything that you can do to try to eliminate or decrease some of that gas. Now, if you are overweight, you need to lose the weight and I myself know how hard that is, so I don't want you to think, oh, well, of course, it's just so easy. I don't think that, but it is proven, it is a fact that if you are carrying extra weight, you're going to have a harder time breathing, and this is even a few pounds. I'm talking about 10 to 20 pounds is going to make it harder to breathe, and that's because that weight is literally just sitting on you and your muscles are having to work harder to get the air in. And you're actually gonna be using more oxygen just because you weigh more. So everything that you do is gonna require more energy, which increases your oxygen demand. So, you know, it's, it's hard, but you really need to make it a priority. And honestly, if you're cutting down on foods that cause gas and bloating, a lot of times that's going to be your fried foods, processed foods. So, you know, you could kind of add those two together there and kill two birds with one stone. So, um, the last one is staying hydrated. So if you are dehydrated, your mucus is going to be super thick. You want to try to stay hydrated so that your mucus doesn't get stuck in your lungs to where you're having a hard time getting it out. And if it's, if it stays in your lungs long enough, it can cause an infection. Um, also, if it's in your lungs, even if it's not infection, it's gonna cause more shortness of breath. So you can look at these and just do anything you can to try to follow them. And just following these four rules here, over time, you will notice that your breathing is a little bit easier. As always, please subscribe to my channel so that other people can find my channel easier. Like the videos if you like them, um, thumbs down if you don't, and I'm always open for suggestions on videos that you all want, or, you know, if, if you have any questions, you can also put those underneath, underneath the video on YouTube, okay? Thank you.